Do y'all yeah. think the Big Ten, when they got out in front of this, thought they were being sharp? And they thought, oh, well, everybody yeah. will follow our lead. And then when people didn't, they went, uh-oh. And they thought and, the and, ones that didn't was that they would crash and burn. <laughs> right, right. And, yeah, and the decision. players protested and the parents protested. And they're like, look, nothing's changed here. We're following the signs. They made Scott Frost little for a yeah, minute. Scott Frost disappeared. He was wanting to play people in a pasture. Then he was loving the conference. And yeah. I'm sorry I spoke up. Yeah. And uh, so, I, 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 you know – how do you how do you back out of this? What are they going to well, say? To your point, Bub, I think this whole thing speaks volumes to. In the past, people did follow the Big Ten. Mm-hmm. When they made a decision, people said, "You know what? Probably need to do what they're doing." And the fact that they didn't says is to me a bigger conversation. That's what's going on in our country right now. Yeah, so I, they're so they're done with it. People know, are done with listening to people like the Big Ten. I, I know how people in high positions think. Because we've, we've, we've known a lot of them over the years. And I promise you the people in charge at Ohio State hated the fact that people kept pointing out to them the high school team's playing, yeah. the little college teams are playing, and the pro team, y'all the only one ain't playing. Mm-hmm. What's wrong with Cincinnati's y'all? Cincinnati's playing. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you know they they were one of the ones that voted to play though in the Big Ten. Yeah, they well, Ohio State. Yeah, yeah, but still they mm-hmm. were they didn't have the leadership in the conference to make everybody true. go their that's way. True. Yeah, that's true. So again, that's kind of a, a black <clears throat> eye on them. Yeah. So, so be, you uh, know you know their power brokers were so sick of that being thrown in their face. Oh, they finally man. went. All right, find somebody to give us a science so we get back on that football yeah, field. It's all yeah. going to be about the no. medical sciences that we've got some answers. Our and now medical we're ready. team yeah. has come back and reevaluated, so, and uh, we looks like we're in the go mode. Mm-hmm. Now, about two weeks ago, I saw an interview with the the Pac-12 commissioner, and he was bragging about the technology of testing that yes. they've been. They've come up with this machine where, mm-hmm. I mean, the minute you walk in, and they. A lot of people say, well, now they're fixing to say they're coming. I, I agree with that. So if they if Big Ten starts October 24th, they'll be about a month behind the SEC. That gives them time to get in the eight games. <clears throat> the right, exactly, games. Yeah. with the conference championship, uh, and they claim they're in the, the playoff. <laughs> and y'all yeah, know, that, y'all know what the you... absolute thing that broke their back was? The, 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 col- the coach rankings came out like yesterday, and, you know, they had them in it to begin oh, with. Yeah. They took them out. And everybody moved up. You know, Alabama went up to two. All this, everybody moved up, and they were totally out of the rankings, and it killed them. They said, "That's it. We're back in. We <laughs> got. Know, we can't. We can't just be not. We just can't not exist anymore." I heard it's because Trump called the commissioner. That's what I heard. <laughs> now he did claim he <laughs> took credit for that. I, I heard him. He'll tweet way. that out yeah. here later today. He's he's solely <laughs> responsible for the return. <laughs> yeah. You can bet right, so on think that. Of, Think about this. Here, and all of everything y'all said is absolutely right. Speedy, <laughs> you talked about they're now going to start in, uh, in October. And then because they only play eight games anyway, as Helmsley pointed out in the break, they'll just won't play any games that are not conference. They'll do eight. And then that's going to put them into the playoff picture. If you've ever played sports of any kind, it didn't have to be sports, anything that you love that you said, I'm done with that. There's always that first time you watch that game play <laughs> without you. And you sit and look at it, and it gives you kind of a terrible feeling like, man, I'd love to be out there. Well, they're experiencing that, and all of you said it right. They've moved on without them. And now your mid-majors that said this was our time to get that fourth spot, oh, the yeah. Central Floridas of the world, now the Big Ten is going to come in late, only play eight games, exactly. and still bump them out of the fourth spot. Yeah. Exactly. All right, Rick, just as uh, as predicted, we've got to go to the break here from the real Donald Trump 11 minutes ago. Great news. Big Ten football is back. (laughs) All teams to participate. Thank you to the players, coaches, parents, and all the school representatives. Have a fantastic season. It is my great honor to have helped. <laughs> so, did he spell it with a V or did he actually use an F? He said, Have a fantastic In the very end, he said, You're welcome. <laughs> he said, You're welcome. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> he's looking, he's, looking, for, he's said, looking for something to throw, Rick. He said, This is going to be fun. <laughs> <laughs> Dang it, Bubba. I hate it. All that was great information, but the minute I heard that, I didn't hear anything else. I know, I know. <laughs> Let's go to Vake. <laughs> Greg, the mystery machine on Scooby-Doo was fantastic. <laughs> I got a feeling it may not work out. <laughs> Greg, you're a bass. <laughs> Rick and Bubba, Rick and Bubba.